Welcome and uh, thank you. My name is Desmond Byrne. I'm responsible for customer support at RX Mobility. Uh, thank you for coming to our webinar, much appreciated. Also on the webinar is Troy Connolly. Troy is responsible for uh, PK software development. Uh, both Troy and I will be walking you through the PK and RX Mobility integration on this webinar. I hope everybody can hear me okay and that, this, um, that you can hear the microphone, everything is audible. So by way of thanks, we have offered all attendees a free HD video. We will distribute their video about 10 days after the webinar. It will be on a topic related to the compounding industry and will definitely be of interest to you. And you can use it for search engine optimization, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and other digital marketing efforts. Because we recently released a PK integrated version of RX Mobility, we have a special offer for attendees who sign up to RX Mobility on or before December 9th. More about that a little bit later on. Firstly, just a little bit of logistics. Because we have two different speakers, you will notice two uh, screens on your uh, webinar. There's a small one and a large one. We will ask you to switch between the large and small screens as we are walking through this. Um, the small, the large screen currently is my one, so I'll be showing you PowerPoint. Uh, we'll then be walking you through uh, some screenshots of PK software, and that will be the large screen along with uh, a video that we're going to highlight as well. That will be on the small screen. So just uh, we're going to go into that video now, and it's just a very quick introduction to RX Mobility. And if you just want to increase the size of that small screen, um, then you will see the video. Many patients do not adhere to their medication because of simple behavioral issues, such as forgetfulness or procrastination. RX Mobility can help. RX Mobility is the only mobile app to integrate directly with PK Compounder, allowing you to automatically remind patients about their refills, receive refills directly into your to-do list, and notify patients when a script has been dispensed. You will receive weekly reports to show effectiveness, and the complete solution is HIPAA compliant. But what does this mean for you? Improved workflow, lower costs, and increased revenue. But there's more. To help you target new patients and markets, RX Mobility is offering a social media marketing package to everyone who signs up at International Seminar. Simply select your therapeutic category, plus which city or state you wish to target, and we'll do the rest. So thank you, Jason, for that. Um, let me just summarize it a little bit and just talk through what it is before we get into the detail. Basically, RX Mobility is a refill, patient engagement, and marketing tool for compounding pharmacies, and it's provided exclusively to PCCA members. RX Mobility integrates with your PK dispensing software. With the RX Mobility mobile app, you can service and tether patients in your core markets and target new patients in adjacent markets. RX Mobility automatically takes refill and other pertinent information from PK software. It uses that information to remind patients to refill a script, to report on refill compliance, and to communicate to the patient when a script has been dispensed. It does, does this automatically, and it does it without intervention by the pharmacist. So we've been working on um, RX Mobility for uh, over uh, five years. Our experience has been that patients do not adhere to the medication, largely because of behavioral issues. We're, we're, all, we're all humans. We all forget to do things. We all procrastinate. We all put things off. And it turns out that 70% or nearly 70% of the reason that people do not comply with the medication uh, relate to behavioral issues, to behave, they relate to habits. And sort of RX Mobility works because it gives you a tool to help counter patient behaviors such as forgetfulness and procrastination with simple behavioral cues to, to try to get people to change their habits. And, and just if you're interested, the other reason that people don't comply, the 31%, you know, half of that relates to cost reasons and the other half relate to actual um, questioning the efficacy of the medication. So nearly 70% relate to behavioral issues. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about what RX Mobility is first. So there's two, there's two sides to it. There's the patient engagement portal, and that's for you, the pharmacy, to actually log in and engage and communicate with the patient. And it's this piece of the software that actually hooks up to uh, PK, and it synchronizes all the information between PK and uh, RX Mobility. And the second side of it then is the actual um, pharmacy, the patient side of it. And the patient side of it basically is a mobile app. And the mobile app can be downloaded by the patient for uh, free. 
it's completely branded in your pharmacy brand. So it's uh, there's different looks, there's different colors, logos, um, different pictures. So you can have it styled completely for your business, customized to your business. Patient will download that particular app from the App Store or from Google Play for free. Um, and once they have it, basically, and it's on their device, you have a way of communicating directly to them. You don't need to know their phone number. You don't need to know an email address. It's as simple as a push message. And the push message is a service that both Apple and Google provide, which enables you to communicate to an app on that patient's uh, cell phone. Um, and it also allows us to do other things, such as embed information uh, into the message related to, say, the script or related to the app. Um, so in the mobile app itself, and I'm going to show it to you in a, a couple of seconds, um, you have things like your services, so your different compounding services, contact information, phone, Facebook, website, um, so they can call you from within the app. Also driving directions if that's needed. Uh, there's things like news from the pharmacy. You can also have uh, there's refill reminders, order my refill, order scripts. A uh, patient can set up their own dose reminders. Um, the tool also handles multiple patients. Uh, it has a broadcast blast messaging module. That's a marketing module. And of course, it's integrated with PK Compounder, which is what we've just uh, you know, released at International 216, and which we're introducing to the market. And the whole tool is uh, HIPAA compliant. So the whole infrastructure is HIPAA compliant. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to show you a little bit about what it looks like. Uh, I just have a couple of apps here I'm going to show you. I think you can see some differences. This one is, uh, the first thing I'm going to open is uh, PWRX Pharmacy, which is a, a demonstration pharmacy that we have. Um, and it's a, it's a pretend pharmacy, but you get an idea of the type of design that you can have. Um, you can see all the main functionality. The main functionality relate to um, refills and dose reminders. They are the largest part of the app. And if you just click on, on those particular screens, um, so if I click on refill, the patient gets asked to put in a PIN number. Uh, the PIN number is to validate who they are and to make sure that we're compliant with uh, HIPAA. Uh, all, uh, we take security very seriously and all uh, information is encrypted on the device and all PHI is encrypted in and out of the mobile app. So here's sort of an example of a couple of patients that have been set up on the device. There's a James Birkin and a, and a Jane Birkin, and you can see the different medications that they have, and along with the different statuses related to those particular medication. Um, if I just move out of that, uh, dose reminders then can be set up. Again, we're entering PHI, so we go through a pin, and we can set it up a dose reminder for any of those patients, and it's very easy to do that. Uh, the patient can set it up for daily, weekly, recurring, or on specific dates, and they can set up their own dose reminders. In addition to that, the patient has a news feed coming through, and the news feed is all of the marketing messaging that you're sent through to them, plus all of the refill reminders, plus all of the information that you're sending to them related to their scripts. So, uh, for example, uh, the second one down is message from your pharmacy, your refill is now due, please confirm. And you can see these messages coming through from the pharmacy. The top message 23 hours ago is a demo on BHRT tomorrow. So um, they see that this information in their newsfeed. The next item to talk about on the app is the contact us information. And from within here, the patient can call you, they can email you, they can look at your website, and they can also get driving directions into your into your business. So that just hooks up with the Apple Map in this case uh, software to get route guidance, or if it's on an Android device, it'll be Google Maps. I'll just cancel that and back up. And then the last item again relates to the news and the news feed we just have down here. So that's a quick overview of the app. Yeah, you can see it's it's really simple to use. Um, and it's it's very quick for a patient to get to to understand it. We've deliberately worked on making this a really, really simple tool and making it very obvious for what uh, patients need to do with the mobile app. So if I just X out of that, I'm just going to show you how the app looks when it's integrated with PK software. So um, it looks largely the same. I'm going to open up uh, one of our testing customers. It's uh, Koshland Pharmacy in San Francisco. And uh, the main difference is, is the refill screen. And if I just click on refill, again, enter my PIN number, and you can see here, this is what it looks like. And this is the screen to enter the, the refills. Patient puts in a script number on the top. 
um, it could be whatever it's going to be. And then they put in their date of birth, so year, month, and day. They press refill, and once they press refill, that comes into your to-do list in the pharmacy. It, it literally is that simple. The, the date of birth is put in to validate who they are, um, to verify that they are the, the correct patient associated with that script number. Um, and also, we look up the script in PK software and verify that it is an actual valid script and alert the patient if it isn't. So let me just go back. And I'll go back to the actual PowerPoint. So let me just talk to you a little bit about the workflows associated with uh, uh, the integration with PK Compounder. It sort of starts at the patient. The patient downloads the app. It's it's on their device, um, and and they have the option, like I showed a few seconds ago, they do a quick refill. So the patient just puts in uh, their script number. They validate who they are after date of birth. They press refill, and once that's done, um, the refill script goes through to your to-do list in PK software. And that's the first key part of the integration. And we're going to show you some screenshots in a few minutes and just show you uh, how it's how our X mobility is flagged within PK software. But once it's in your to-do list, then you work through what you what you need to work through in terms of making a compound. It's, you know, it's going to take you 24, 48 hours to create the compound. Um, and once you do that, you have, and it's done, and it's ready to be dispensed as a point of validation. Um, and once the, um, you're ready to, to validate and dispense, um, that point of validation is where we take the information from PK software and we notify the patient again using a push message that the script has been dispensed and is ready for our collection or delivery or whatever they selected in the app. That's sort of a sequence of a workflow and it's all very automatic. It just, it just happens. Um, you have visibility uh, to it. You can see that it comes from RX Mobility, but all that sort of communication works automatically in the background. Then the other side of it, which is really good, is the automatic refill reminders. You know, once, the, once we have hooked up the patient in the app with PK, then we populate that app with information related to the patient. And specifically, we look at a field in PK software called day supply outstanding. And we use that piece of that piece of information, the day supply outstanding, to um, to calculate the, a refill frequency. And so we send a refill reminder to the patient automatically. So once they put in the script once, and the script number once, and they've requested a refill, then the next time they don't have to do all of that. It just happens automatically. So uh, based on that automatic refill, it comes. Use the day uh, supply outstanding. Refill reminder gets sent through to the patient on their cell phone. It comes through as an alert. It comes through as an alert exactly the same way as uh, Facebook sends you alert or Gmail will send you alert. Uh, any other app on your device that you use, a news alert, it comes through in exactly the same way. And um, the patient can, of course, they can look at the alert. And when, it op when they press OK, it'll open the relevant app. Uh, in this case, it'll be your app. So it opens your app and it'll bring them to the relevant script. And literally all they have to do is press refill and then the whole cycle starts again. The refill arrives into your to-do list. You create the compound. Uh, once you validate it, then they, it sends them and notifies them with a message, a push message that the script uh, has, is ready for collection and has been dispensed. So that all happens automatically again in the background. Of course, when the patient gets a reminder, and this is one of the key value propositions of RX Mobility, when they get a reminder uh, this way, they have two options. They can act on it, in which case it arrives in your to-do list, or they can ignore it. Um, and that's, you know, that's where one of the power of RX Mobility comes in, is actually when they ignore it. Because we, in addition to the uh, integration with PK software, we give you this tool to enable you to further engage with the patient so that you can send additional messages um, with the content of your content at time of your choosing to further remind them to, to actually refill their script. And in doing this, you know, we improve compliance because they get secondary reminders, but also it reduces your reliance on the telephone and having to call the patient to say, look, we're, you're, you're due a refill, um, like, why not, you know, and do whatever that phone call is. But Minimum that phone call takes five minutes to do if you even get through. Whereas in this case, you know, it takes a couple of seconds to actually send a push message through to do a further reminder for them. So that's the um, the integration with PK Compounder. 
And I'm just going to hand over to Troy Connolly, who is the uh, developer of PK um, um, uh, software, and he's going to talk you through some of the actual screens themselves. Troy, I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, Des. So I'll just kind of go through some screenshots here, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the uh, software and just kind of show you the, the live environment. Um, so the first one here is uh, the prescription history. So we've added a checkbox there, which just gives you a quick glance. You can look and see that this uh, prescription has been linked to a, uh, you know, RX Mobility on our back end, essentially. So go to the next one. Okay, so we're having a little, little tricky. Oh, here we go. So uh, the prescription history Sorry. again. Um, there, there's Throughout the software, we've just added this checkbox in a number of places just so you can kind of see everywhere where they, they've been added. So um, we'll go to the next slide here. Should be the, yeah, the to-do management as well. Go ahead. So we go ahead and... Um, We've added there as well, just it'll queue up. So this is the, the history that um, Des was talking about. So uh, for those of you not using the to-do management, basically all the scripts are gonna come into the do as they normally would if you're using the refill reminder system or anything like that. And that's just gives you an indication if that came in from a patient or if it came in through some other, you know, if it was added manually, they're just by the glance of that checkbox, you'll know where it came from. So let's go to the next one, she's thinking. <laughs> It is thinking, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, enhanced some of the uh, reports in there to include this flag as well. Um, I know we've got a lot of people that still like to call patients uh, manually and touch base with them and ask them about refills. So we've added some filters in there to kind of help you uh, break down these reports. Um, you know, if, if they're coming in electronically through the mobile app, obviously you don't want to call them too and, and you know, kind of overwhelm them with, um, you know, messages going back and forth. So uh, the refill reminder report, we've added a, a flag in there, which goes again back to that RX mobility flag and uh, will we'll allow you to filter those, those patients out of that report. So if you're still calling them, then you'll know which ones you don't need to call back. So. All right, so the next one is should be the Log of Scripts report. Um, again, oh, I'm sorry, this is the actual refill reminder report. Um, if you're not using the flag, um, we've included this checkbox on there as well, so you can just kind of in a glance see that, and that'll just kind of give you a total count. Um, you know, if you want to see all the patient, if you want to just see everything, it's, it's, it's on there, and then you can manually filter those uh, in or out and make the determination if you need to call them or not. So that's what that one is. All right, so then here's the log of scripts. Um, we've added, a, again, two filters on here um, to determine if it's linked to RX Mobility or not, and then that'll just kind of filter out your pre-existing log of scripts report, whether you're using the, you know, the detailed or one line, two line, three line. So all that just ties into an existing log of scripts filter like you're used to seeing in the past. So um, after this, we'll probably jump over here to the live system and I'll just, I'll talk a little bit about what, um, just kind of go back to what Des mentioned about uh, the, the messages going out automatically. So there's there's three different ways those messages get sent, sent out. So, um, Troy, could I just uh, interrupt you for one second and just, yeah, to, just to tell people to increase the, there's a little screen on your left hand side, it says PCCA events. Yeah, and if yes. you just want to increase the size of that screen, you'll be able to see Troy's computer. Yeah, that'll make it a little bigger for you and easier to see. So, yeah. um, so there, there's three ways that the automated messages are going to get sent out. Um, if you're using, you'll need to use one of our workflow systems, whether it's RX Watch or the location tracking. And what you would need to do is set up a completion station. And if anybody's using the text messaging that we have in there, it works very similar to that. You set up your completion station. Once the prescription is scanned at one of those completion stations, then it knows to alert RX Mobility that the prescription is ready for pickup. The other option, if you're not using either of those workflow systems, is it'll tie into the RX validation. So at the time of validation, when you scan that prescription and validate that you've got the right log on there or the right lot number, 
it will go ahead and automatically send that that uh, message to Arcs Mobility at that time. So I'll just jump into the software here real quickly. Uh, oops, let me close that. So again, this is the to-do list. Um, it's basically going to look just like you, you're you're seeing it today. So there really shouldn't be any impact on your normal workflow. So if you look at this here, I've got five or four prescriptions in here, and there's this new checkbox on the left-hand side. It's called R uh, Rx Mobility. So if you see the first two, they came in whether they're entered manually, the patient co called in over the phone, you know, somebody put those in some other method, but the two below that came in through Rx Mobility. So those just come in pre-populated, no interaction from anyone on the pharmacy once the our mobility system is in place, they just show up automatically. So from the user perspective, you're just gonna go ahead and click on that like you normally would. Uh, can you, yes. Confirm that I wanna fill that RX number, Put that a note. So just, just, this is just like you would normally fill a prescription. I'm kind of flying through these here fast, but once I save this, because I've got this set up in workflow, it's probably not, it's gonna be really hard to see it on the screen, but there'll be a, a message that'll pop up real quickly there and tell you that it was sent. There's a lot of messages that go on there just with the labels and everything. But um, at that point, I will, the patient will automatically get an alert on their phone and, and, and that's that. So um, pretty simple, uh, should not impact your workflow too much. Um, that was kind of our intention there to, to keep it as seamless and uh, painless for uh, you guys in the pharmacy as possible. So. Um, with that, I think I'll turn it back over to Des, and he's going to talk a little bit about the back end and just kind of explain how that all works and some of the additional functionality that's there. Okay, cool. Thanks very much, Troy, uh, for going through that. Appreciate it. Um, so if you want to just um, click on again and just open up the other screen, which is showing the PowerPoint, and so you can see my screen. And so once you've done that, so um, firstly we have this. In addition to uh, the PK integration, we provide you with this uh, patient engagement portal. Uh, the patient engagement portal gives you additional features um, that are not available in PK software. An analogy would be to think of it as your telephone to engage with the actual uh, mobile app. So it gives you the tools to actually uh, engage with the patient directly. So whereas a lot of the PK integration is automatic and it's tightly integrated with your workflow, in addition, we've built out this patient engagement portal, uh, which allows you to communicate directly different with different types of messages to the patient. Uh, it could be marketing messages or it could be specific script related messages. I'm gonna show you that in, in, a, in a couple of minutes. Um, just a couple of things about it before I show it to you. Um, primarily, the main areas are um, it's got marketing messages, uh, so it allows you to broadcast a message to everybody simultaneously. Anyone who's downloaded the app, they tend to be your most engaged patients, the patients who are really engaged with your business. And this is a way for you to uh, communicate directly to those engaged patients. Um, it has a refill reminder report in there. So when I was telling you earlier on about, you know, a patient doing a, you know, when they receive a reminder, they have a couple of options. They can ignore the reminder or they can act on it. Uh, and what we do is we report on the ones who um, ignore it. And we tell you who's ignored it so you can actually go and work through a list of those who've ignored the reminders. And rather than have to call them, you know, you can separate out the list as, as Troy was talking about earlier on in PK software. And you can just run through this report and just send them instant messages or push messages, which go straight onto their, onto their cell phone, uh, into the app. Um, you don't have to do any phone calling. Um, there's secure um, RX messages, so we uh, give you the ability to communicate directly with the patient one-on-one -on -one in a secure manner about their script. It could be you want to, you know, you want to tell them what the airway bill number is or the USP number, USPS number is, if it's shipped out. It could be that there may be an issue with related insurance or co-payment or, or whatever it could be, but we give you that ability to actually communicate directly to them about the script. And it can be about anything. It could be, you know, you receive the script in, um, you recognize it's a long time, a long lead time item. You know, instead of it being your regular 24 hours, it's going to take you 72 hours. We just go back to the patient and message them and say, look, this script is going to take 72 hours to fulfill. We expect it to be available on December 10th or whatever you want to say. So we give you that ability as well. Another area that we have built in is, you know, is uh, the, the to-do list can take in uh, new scripts, but we do offer the ability for, for, for sorry, the to-do list only allows for uh, refill scripts. And we do offer the ability here for new scripts to be introduced. So if the use case is patients at a, at a physician, uh, you know, 
they don't want to drive across town with the script, you know, knowing that they're going to have to drive across town again the next day to pick it up. And they can just take a picture of the script um, in the app, uh, add some details to it, and it comes straight through to you in the in the farm in, in this portal. Um, and, and then you can use that to create the compound and communicate directly back to the patient. That facility is in there as well. It doesn't replace the need to have the actual original script on file for, for, for you know, to, for the uh, state board of pharmacy. You still have to have those original scripts on, on file. There's also the ability to do website refills. So there's a web component to this. So it's not just about a mobile app. Uh, you can have a, a website form which comes into this portal as well. And we also send you out weekly adherence reports. So you have a really good feeling about what's happening is, you know, how many downloads, how many users, how many refills. And you get a really good feeling for what's happening. And we send that out first thing every Monday morning. So uh, here's what a script looks like, or this is what the details behind the patient look like within the pharmacy engagement portal. On the top left hand side is orders. It's the patient details along with uh, script information. Uh, on the right hand side, if, if, if it is a new script from the patient, they can you know, take a photograph or an image of the script itself that can be appended to it. Um, and below that's the order history. So any, any person who's engaged with the script in any way, whether it's a patient uh, or a pharmacist, um, it's actually all logged here um, and um, in, in a secure manner. So you can actually see an audit trail of what's, what, it, what has occurred with the script, who's communicated on the script, has the patient made modifications, it all appears here. So let me just pull out, I'm just gonna show you some of this in the background very quickly and give you a sense of, of what that looks like. So this is the patient engagement portal. And again, you don't have to use this, you don't necessarily have to log into it, but it's there for you. And we do recommend that, you know, whoever is managing the sort of refill process or maybe in marketing, that they actually would log in here, say first thing every morning and, and would do a couple of functions. So these are in addition to the all the automatic stuff that PK integration does, we give you these additional features. So for example, uh, I'll just start right to left. I'm gonna start off with messages here. And the messages is basically a way for you to communicate um, information to everybody who's downloaded the app, all of your really engaged patients. And it can be everything from, you know, we've got a demo on tomorrow. Um, it could be the, that you have an in-store demo at seven tomorrow, could be a reminder about that. It could be the fact that you've got a, you know, a discount Tuesday, uh, minus 10% for all scripts received on a Tuesday. Uh, it could be that you want to educate them a little bit more. Look, here's some links to information on compounding resources. Um, that's all built in here. And, and it's, it literally is as simple as adding a message. You click that button. And once you do that, you can just put in information here. So I'm just going to put a small thing. So demo in the compounding pharmacy tomorrow at 7 p.m. There it is, it's as simple as that. Um, and all I have to do is press the little little arrow button there and that's gone. And everybody who has your app will receive that push message into their device. So that's that particular one. The next item is the refill reports. And the refill reports, just one second please. Sorry for that, some laughing in the background. So the next item just to show you is the, the refill reports. Um, and the refill reports, the refill reminder report is here. And this is where somebody would log in in the morning and they'd say, oh, here's the status of my refills. Um, and you can see a couple of different ones here. Um, I've got two on the top who are overdue, a Peterus and a Can Android. Uh, I have one here from a James Burke and the refill was requested. Uh, if you see that, it's in your to-do list. You don't even need to do anything. And you can see a couple of others which are just wait. And wait means that they're going to be sent a refill reminder. In this case, this person, Ken Android, is going to be sent one three hours from now. So um, the only ones you really need to act on are the overdue ones. So we'll just have a quick look at the one that's overdue here first. The first one is Peterus. And you can see it's overdue. I can see everything related to the order on the history. And all I need to do is click on add message and once I add message click on message directly to patient and just put in your refill uh, is due um, please submit so it can be any content that you want to send to them any message at all and I'll send that straight through to that patient and that will go through to their device as a push message and it goes straight into their mobile phone 
uh, into their push message center and they can just open that open that alert and they can view it it has further information associated with the script so if it's multiple scripts it actually brings them through to the relevant script on the actual uh, cell phone so that's the actual refill uh, reminder section website orders come through in a separate location here so here's the website orders and um, so we give you a form that you just give your developer this this little bit of text they embed this form into your website um, it, it's very easy to do it does need to be put onto a secure server so HIPAA compliant server um, and again they'll know what to do um, they just embed this uh, this this code you copy and paste it give it to them and they'll they'll know what to do it'll be very easy for them to to do this and it'll the form itself then will adopt the actual style that your particular website has the colors the logo the, the frame on top everything will just uh, will just be adopted from your website that'll be pretty easy for them to do and then the last section is just the mobile orders themselves so here's the mobile orders uh, coming through um, and you can see um, this is the interface you know you can look up orders by new ones requested ones updated viewed completed rejected uh, when was it requested um, when is the next refill is scheduled or not scheduled or it's overdue uh, you can look by a missing or a completed script number in addition, you can add, um, you know, a free text search on patients. So I just put in James here, sorry, James, and I'll search that, and it'll come up and give me all the patients with James. So in this case, I have, you know, two patients, James, James Birkin and Jim James, and you can see they're, they're the patients that I want, and I can look at any one of them, and I can decide, you know, here's one here, the, the refill was requested, his next refill is due on the 2nd of January, um, here's a, a person here, James Birkin, uh, script number is missing, his next refill due um, November 1st, so he's actually overdue. Down here, Jim James uh, requested 25th of May and it's completed. So I can just open any of these. And if I, if I want to add in um, any information here, if I want to change things, um, uh, I can do it here. So I may want to say, maybe you've made a phone call to that pa patient, so phoned patient and he said whatever he said and that's an internal note and that goes on the on the trail the audit trail you want to send an additional message to him uh, it could be your FedEx you know the um, shipping details are USPS number whatever it is and that click on the message directly to the patient send that and it's gone then of course everything is just tracked down here related to that so you can see everything down here if i just go down and have a look at it you can see both of those particular items of messages here shipping details are usps number uh, note phone patient and he said that's the internal note so only the internal notes are viewable internally nobody else can see them uh, the message to the patient that only the patient only that one single patient can see that message nobody else can see it only that patient uh, down here you will see further down below uh, someone has updated an order and you just click on that and you can see what happened oh I changed the script number it was empty and I just changed and updated the script number me the pharmacist did that so that's a, a good overview of the back end so this is like the tool that we give you uh, in addition to the actual uh, integration with the PK uh, software um so one of the things about the the the, the app you know the, the um, it is very important that you know patients you know use the app and download it that's a key part of it and you know a key part of the success of people who've used the tool and we've had you know a lot of people use the tool over the last um you know we released it two years ago we started deploying it 18 months ago um, and the ones who've been really successful have engaged with their patients you know communicated the value proposition of the app and you know once they use it um some 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 customers are completely using this to, to you know to run their refill business they've eliminated the phone process and uh, they've gotten rid of certain things and they got this app just downloaded by patients but that's the key to it the patient has to download the app and one of the actual um items that we give you as part of the you know the training and everything um, we do two items of training one is we train you on how to use a tool so we get your staff 
an hour long session, it's a 50 minute long session, and we train you how to use our accessibility and what to do and how to think about different workflows in your business. And maybe you could add, you know, you, you know, we're trying to minimize the impact on your workflow and most of it's automatic, but how do you say maybe eliminate phone calls? Or how do you decide, I'm gonna do value added phone calls instead of just chasing for refills, I'm actually gonna have my person do upselling or, 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 or maybe counseling or whatever else you wanna do, but more value added phone call. So we worked through that in one part of the training. And the second part of the training relates to uh, the marketing of the, of the app and marketing of your business to an extent. So we give you a lot of, um, uh, materials, uh, you know, stuff for uh, both your in-store and digital assets. So in-store things like HD video, uh, QR, QR tags, bag stuffers, rack cards, uh, things you can print on a local printer um, in your business or maybe things you professionally print. And we create those. They're all customized in your business brand, in your logo, your colors, everything. You know, um, and for example, the rack card tells the patient what the value proposition related to the actual tool itself. And we work you through a marketing plan with those assets. On the digital side, we give you things like video for YouTube, uh, the app URL, uh, logos, um, the apps embedded in an iPhone, stuff that you can do on your, uh, do on your website. Um, and, you know, part of that marketing plan is to, for example, is we give you a 30 second video about the value proposition for the app for your patients. And part of the marketing plan is, yeah, let's look at some search engine uh, to search engine optimization keywords, what we call long tail keywords associated with that video, embed them in the video into YouTube, and then we would you know, work with you to sort of uh, share that on Facebook, uh, get people downloading it and viewing it and downloading your apps. They're the type of things that we do to help you get patients to download the tool. ROI, it's it's less than one refill a week. It's it's uh, you know Mike, I don't know you know everyone on the webinar, you know the the margins exactly and the revenue per per script, but you know it's less than one refill a week. Um, ROI comes from two places. First, increasing revenue because you're improving the ability or you're changing patient habits and they're you're you're improving their ability to to sort of send you scripts in a simple manner. And the other part of the ROI comes from reducing the amount of phone calls you have to make and making sure phone calls are by you know to manage refills are by exception rather than the rule. That's the ROI of the tool. Um, and one of the things I alluded to in the video at the start, um, we released this at International Seminar 216. Um, we got a great uptick on this offer, which was a 90-day social media marketing campaign. Uh, basically, we we you, you pick a therapeutic category, um, you you um, and based on that, and you pick a city, state that you're interested in, along with a radius. And based on that, we create a customized video for you. So if you pick BHRT, we create a customized BHRT video for you. Uh, we do so. We work you through a workshop with search engine optimization. So we we pick you know, terms that would make sense from a patient point of view uh, when looking for uh, therapies related to BHRT. Uh, we upload that to YouTube, uh, and then we do some Facebook campaigns based on the app and based on um, the actual video and other content we create for you. We do that for 90 days. It's a $500 value for people who sign up, and that offer is open through December 9th. Um, so that's the um, overview. Um, of the tool, and it's probably a good time to to um, be uh, go through some questions. I'm thinking um, there's some questions coming through, so if you want to send some questions through, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, maybe Troy will also take some of them, and we will yes. work. Okay, Troy, you yeah, could take some here. of these. I've got them here. I got one for you. I got a handful of Des, but I think most of them are going to be for me. But I'll get yours out of the way first. Um, okay. Is there a limit to how many people can access the back end at one time? Um, no, there's not, Troy. Good question. So, no, every single pharmacist in the business we recommend gets a, um, a login credential. So we don't limit that. So the pricing, it does include unlimited number of pharmacists to log into the, the management portal, uh, unlimited patients, unlimited push messaging unlimited downloads and we do recommend that actually every patient that every biz, every pharmacist every user actually has their own login credentials and we recommend that for um, for uh, audit trail purposes so um, every single pharmacist that logs in here in this case it's all Desmond Byrne from PWRX compounding pharmacy but everyone who logs in it'll actually track who they are so you can have as many people as you want logging in okay good let's see we've got uh, I'll, I'll tackle a couple of these that came in that I think are on my side. Um, 
One of them is, uh, well, is this integrated with version four and five? So right now uh, we've designed it to, to be, uh, it's gonna work with both. Um, right now only the RX version of version four is gonna support it. Um, version five RX side is still in development. Uh, but we have planned for that when that ships that it will be integrated and, and ready to go out of the box. So that is definitely in the works. Um, another question was when will this version of Compounder be available? Uh, we've got it in beta testing in two locations right now. Um, just got it kicked off this week. So we just kind of want to run that for maybe a week or two, just work out any kinks that might be in there. Um, if we need to solidify some of that code or stabilize it a little bit. So um, we're still planning, should be later this month. So within the next few weeks, um, it's gonna be a 4.11.16.0 will be that version number. So just look for that in the next coming weeks. We will do a news uh, feed announcement in that when that's ready. So if you're using that in the compounder today, just look for that news feed and uh, you should be good to go. Um, another one here, uh, what happens if I lose my internet access? That's a good question. Um, so the way this works is there's a, a hosted environment that, that we kind of control and maintain here with redundant backups and whatnot. So if, if your internet goes out at a given pharmacy, uh, the, the messages going to and from um, Compounder to RX Mobility will, will stick in that queue. And then when the service comes back up, uh, it'll sync back up and then, you know, your, your message will come in and out. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's a question about what happens if I create a new prescription from an old one. Will, will that link remain intact? Today, right now, it won't. This is actually something we're, we've got to, I think, sit down with uh, Des and, and work out on their side. Or, or Between the two of us, it, it's going to require a little work on on both ends, but I don't. I think that requirement may have slipped through the cracks. So it, it, it's not gonna prevent it from working. It's just what the patient would have to do in that case is they'll have to establish that link. So they'll have to put in the new prescription number and their birth date. So it, it's still gonna work. It's just, we're not maintaining that link across different RX numbers. So that's kind of the tricky part there. Uh, let's see, let me catch up here. I, got, I just got a barrage of questions came in. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to tackle these. Um, so a uh, question came in for those already using our RX mobility, how do we uh, move to the full integration? I, I think that's, a, I'll let you tackle that one, Des. Yeah, that's no problem, thanks. So, um, yeah, once we we're, we're currently have a number of, uh, um, so any customer who already has the tool by and large, there's a, the integration will, will occur. Uh, we're talking about doing it later this month, early next month. Um, we're currently finalizing beta testing with, with a couple of customers and we're just at the tail end of that. And once that's completed, then we will actually communicate to you and say, look, we're ready to go. Are you are you good? Um, and then we start that process off. So I would expect it'll be um, in the next, let's say, four weeks or so. Um, and we'll email everybody that that's going to occur. Okay. Um, do you want me to go email. through some of the oh. questions here as well, if if you want? Uh, yeah, well, I, well, yeah, I'm kind of triaging them over here. So um, okay, go ahead. There's one about the uh, the Facebook presence. Do you, would you recommend that you establish that Facebook presence prior to the launch of your marketing campaign, or how, how would you go about that? And uh, we'll actually do it for you. It'll be as quick. It will be as quick for us to do it. It'll be very quickly to, quick to set it up. And in actual fact, there's. Um, in the like because we create all these assets for you there's actually some uh, uh, facebook assets in there so there's there's some um there's some uh, graphics that have been sized for facebook as well in that pack that we give you and it would actually we, we would just set up the facebook page um and we do it you know it, it's it'll be really quick for us to do that so we're just going to do that actually that's part of our plan um, so let's see one come in here. Are there additional charges to move to the full integration? No, there's the there's the thousand um, dollar sign up fee uh, to to get the module on our side, and then it's just a monthly fee after that. So there's no additional uh, charges beyond those. Uh, let's see. Is there a way for a patient to tell us when they want to pick up their prescription? Uh, I'm going to say yes on that because they do have a, a notes field within the app. Uh, and that will just come across into the to-do list notes on uh, the compounder side. And then all, those will also get copied into the prescription notes when you create that, that prescription. So uh, sure. yes, that is possible. 
Um, Let me just show them that if we may try while we're doing yeah, that. If you can, you can flip back over. Let's see. I'm just going to uh, flip back over and show you uh, the app itself to show you how that would occur. Um, here's a couple of me messages that have just come in for me. Um, I sent a message earlier on to a patient. It must have been on this device. Shipping details or USPS number. You would have seen that. So this is how the messages actually appear. Um, here's a dose reminder for Jane Birkin to take medications. That was sent you know, one hour ago. That all appears there, so you can see that. Um, if I click on that, you can see message from the pharmacy. The message is the following. Shipping details are USPS number. Would you like to view it? So the patient can view that and look at the details. And it highlights what the actual the script is. So just open that message, put in the PIN number, and you can see it's down for this this tool, this product here, Vertibase, which is a brand new product, not. Uh, it'll appear there. Um, patient can open that. Um, and once they open that, they can actually look at the details and update the details. So uh, the question is, can you actually uh, update information? Can the patient send information? Um, yeah, they can. Um, they can put in information down here for the pharmacy. And uh, so whatever you know, information they want to send, um, I to send and that's it. It'll just go in and and, and it'll update there, and it's done. Um, the update will go through to the pharmacy, and the pharmacy will know that there's an update pending, and they'll see that um, in the in the actual on their side. Um, okay, Troy. All right, so uh, let's see another question we've got here. Will the to-do list still show where the RX came from, uh, such as it does in the IVR interface? Uh, yes, there's there's that checkbox that'll show up on the to-do list. And when that's when that's checked, that tells you that it came from RX Mobility. The other thing you can do too is uh, you can look at the notes if you edit that to-do item. Um, any of the additional information that Desmond just talked about would come across in there as well as there's a there's kind of a key in there, it's really not really maybe meaningful to you, but that's kind of the link uh, that 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 uh, Compounder and RX Mobility uh, establish, and that's kind of how that is maintained there. So, uh, next question: Do we need to update our software? Yes. Uh, what you want to do when just keep an eye out in the news feeds in Compounder, and when uh, 4.11.16 is going to be that version that you're going to want to update to, and that should be like I said, coming out in the next couple of weeks, we just kind of want to stabilize everything and, and make sure it's it's good to go before we kind of do a mass release on that. Um, this one I'll have to ask you, De um, I guess someone is saying they don't currently see the the refill tab in the mo the mobility app, and I'm, I'm guessing that's just because they haven't been enabled on that, right? It's uh, Is that on the website? Kind of a new, yeah, 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 the yeah, website. It just means it hasn't been refills. enabled. Um, so the um, yeah the the website tab would have to be enabled by us, and uh, we we just have to do that. Who's asked that question? May I ask? Um, I'll have to go back and read the notes. We 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 can I can have I'll get you the information. Okay. We can connect with them afterwards and and uh, troubleshoot that. So but I, we'll I update that, that for you. Yeah, yeah we we've, we've got notes of it over here. So uh, let's see. Um, I can, let's see, can you flip me back to me real quick? So uh, someone asked if we could show you how the validation works to send. Really, it's it's going to work just like it normally does. There really isn't anything, honestly, to show. You're, you're just going to validate it like you normally would. Let me see. Uh, didn't actually prepare for this, so I'm going to try to wing it here, and hopefully this works. But, uh, that's not the right number. But basically, on your validation screen here uh, at the top, you'll scan your RX number. I, I didn't actually print any barcodes to be able to scan this, so <laughs> I didn't come prepared for that. But so, if you're not familiar with the screen, uh, you'll you'll scan your RX number from your your uh, label, or if you've got a, uh, another sheet that you're tracking through, um, and then you'll scan your lot number, and that's just going to validate that those are the correct uh, matching lot number and correct correct formula for that prescription. And then it goes to the next one. And what happened is it'll automatically send that message at that time. There's nothing that you need to do on the user side. It just 
happens behind the scene. So it doesn't, it should not impact your workflow at all. It, it takes about a fraction of a second for it to push that message out, but um, there, there's no additional work that you need to do on your side once we've got that configured. And it's just a checkbox and options. Um, so I can, I can show you that real quick. There's a couple options in there. Um, basically there's a unique number that we've got to get associated. Um, everybody will have a unique RX mobility number. And then there's different topics in there right now. There's, this, cause this is my development environment. There's a couple extra things in here, but, um, basically you'd set the topic to RX mobility. Um, and then you turn on this option and that will tell, tell the system to automatically queue those messages to RX mobility after they've been validated. So if you're not using either of the workflow systems, that's probably the preferred route to go. Uh, Des, uh, what is the uh, the monthly fee uh, for this? Because I, I forgot that that question came in there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, so the, the fee is two forty nine a month, and that's for everything. There's no upfront fee to develop the app. Um, we did have one, it was, but that's gone. So there's no development fee. It's two forty nine a month. That's unlimited downloads, patients, uh, pharmacists, messages. It's it's all in. There's no other costs. Um, you can. Um, we got to. We want to make it work for you. We help you market it. If you're not happy with it. We allow you to, you know, cancel a 30 days notice. So it's it's a uh, 249 a month. All right, I think that's all the questions I have, Des. Um, if you want to go ahead and wrap it up, I'll let you. Yeah, uh... I, this, uh, <laughs> one question, Troy, related to we promote the app to patient via their cell. So Steve, yeah, do you suggest we promote the app to patients via their cell? You can do. Um, it is possible um, if you have their cell number. Um, I guess you could send them a text message. In the text message, um, part of the marketing package we give you is we give you the, the link to the app store. So you'd send out a text message to everybody that has an, an iPhone and it would have the link to the uh, app store. Um, and I'll just click on that link and it'll bring them straight to the to app store to the app download page, press download. So yeah, it would be a good idea uh, to do that, uh, to promote via cell phone. If you have that information, not a lot of people do, but if you do have it, it's a very effective way of doing it. Um, okay, you're welcome. Is that it, Troy? Is that everything, do you think? Is there nothing else that's, there? Any questions? That's all I have on my side, I think. I mean, if anyone has any questions afterwards, it's uh, des at rxmobilityapp.com. Um, you can just send it through to me. So des, D-E-S, at rxmobilityapp.com. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, so yeah, if um, if there's no more questions, I'll just check if anyone has any other questions. And if there's no other questions, then we'll we'll uh, finish it up. If you are interested in signing up, uh, we will be delighted to work with you. Um, we have some great you know marketing materials and marketing programs in place to help you increase your compounding business. It's it's what our bread and butter is and uh, we understand demand creation really well and we understand demand creation at both you know there's two ways one way it's it comes from increasing new scripts coming from physician physicians and the other way is increasing refills refills from existing patients so we understand that process really well um, and we we'd love to be working with you guys and join the the many members who've already signed up so again thank you very much thank if there's you. nothing else then thank you for attending the seminar a webinar, I will be in contact with you because I've got a video to share with you. We will be doing that over the next week and a half to two weeks and we will send you a link uh, in Dropbox to that video. Um, so again, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, Jason.